Hello, and welcome back to Vectorio Vanilla 1.0. In our last episode, we finished setting up this uh, copper outpost out here, and I went out and put down some defenses and also the lights that we were missing the last time. And now it's chugging along at probably about three full red belts. Eh, maybe. So we're bringing that back here to the base, and we're going to obviously need more copper outpost, but we'll have to deal with that in a little while because we don't have uh, enough throughput out at the uh, mine, but we are bringing in f what will hopefully be four full belts here of copper, four full red belts, but we are dropping that down to four yellow belts. So we're not even using all that copper at this point. And then we still have three full red belts of copper coming in uh, from this original uh, mine here that we built it in. And we have that going into three smelters here to take into uh, the six belts needed for green circuits and so now we have two pretty solid yellow belts of green circuits so the first thing i want to do here is probably get those upgraded i don't remember where exactly ah that's where it left off let's get these all upgraded i'm going to skip over the stuff that's a different belt like the red circuits they're coming in although did i mess that up i did mess that up that would have been bad make sure that if you're going to do what i'm doing right now that you get the one you're missing uh, let's see keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going and this will give us two full red belts, which will help a lot uh, going forward. And then we'll also build two more uh, red belts worth, or red belts, I should say, um, once we can expand the production just a little bit more. And that should work. We don't need red belts going into any of the assemblies besides maybe the mall, but even then we don't. Um, because it's a half a green belt, or half a yellow belt at all the times. I did uh, hook up this additional steel, although I didn't hook up the fuel for it. So let's go do that quickly. And then what I want to do is move that concrete that we talked about at the end of the last episode. Okay, so somewhere in the middle, right about here maybe, let's see. That can reach, what did I do? Oh, I goofed up. Well, I didn't goof up, but uh, let's see. This needs another splitter. Maybe you'll just do it back there. That's not right, but I'll get I'll make it right in a minute here. Yeah, this needs to go up there. And this can come in like that. And then this can go that far, and this one can reach that that far. So we'll go right oops. There, yeah. Go right here with one and two. And there, and then we should be getting fuel that direction. I'm gonna tighten this up just for neatness sake I need to set up some recycling too uh, but I I've combined all four of those red belt steel smelters into a red belt so we're getting about 80% of a red belt right now which might be close to what we need for the whole factory of steel or in steel I should say uh, at least to the level where I plan on going with this uh, this factory I think finding the steel Oh no, we need 1.3 belts, so we're going to need probably three more steel smelters worth if we go all the way to where I want to go. Oh, uh, research. Let's do stronger explosives again. So now we're starting to get a little bit of steel coming out of these now that the fuel is getting there. I also changed the way that the iron was hooked up so that I could tighten this in and get a few more belts through here. So I now have those two going down there, of course. These four coming across to here, and these two are stopping. Uh, they need to be hooked up here, but for right now, I don't know that we need them. Or do we? We probably do, because this is pretty bad here. And it's the only iron we have coming into the base. One, two, three, four, five coming into the base. Um, but we also need a lot more red belts, so I think I will wait. Uh, and we'll go work on other stuff. Yeah, because we did the green, the green circuit upgrades here. We'll go work on some other stuff. Uh, these are backing up quite a bit. I'm trying to decide if I need to do more or not. I expanded by two more uh, before I started the episode. But again, red belts are the issue. So let's go look at what other stuff might be lacking. Uh, that's kind of what I want to do this episode, is kind of figure out where else we can do some upgrades here. Red Circuit seems like a likely candidate. Uh, I didn't redo the math on the Red Circuits. But we are also not running out of plastic and green circuits here. 
So let's add another set of red circuit machines. If I can get them in there, yes, if I move the radar, I can get them in there. And then I will remove this stuff, and probably that one too. Oh, that's where we had that crazy curly cue that I took out the last time. And I'm letting the base bots do this work. Just because they need to do the work. They need the work. And uh, the problem is we're going to run really hard into... Well, let's, let's do the math here. Let's do this math. So red circuits, each red circuit maker needs two plastic bars and two electronic circuits every six seconds. But the 0.75 speed means that it's every seven and a half seconds. So that means that we can handle... Well, let's do every six seconds. So we can handle one set of this. One set of this uses two of each every... Um, two of each every second because there's six machines in one uh, one set uh, so that's that's two of each uh, times 0.75 is one and a half of each that's the better way to do this one and a half of each means that we can get a full belt in uh, one two three four five five arrays one two three actually sorry not five arrays five half arrays which is two four six we're already a little bit over so this is actually going to starve out which is fine i'm okay with that plus we have we do have full belts coming in so this is going to starve out but i'm okay with that uh we do need to upgrade this to red belt at some point but we're running up against this copper anyway so i need to get that flushed out anyway uh the good thing is these three or yeah this this whole array is going into the green circuits which means that the um that means it's going to be constantly being used. It's not something that's going to the base. So our issue there now is uh, red circuits aren't getting made enough to provide enough for blue circuits, which is surprising because usually blue circuits issue is green circuits, not red circuits. But now that we've gotten a few more red circuits getting made, we're kind of maxed out at this point, it might actually be enough. Uh, let's see. We have these guys. These guys are backed up and not working. Because we're not really using much science right now. Uh, these guys are... Oops, don't get stuck in the pipes you don't squeak through on. Or installed. These guys are just making these. And they are completely backed up. Uh, yellow science is completely backed up. Wait a minute. What's... Okay, then what am I starving out on in science? Is it just time that I'm starving out on? It is just time. I'm actually making more yellow science than I can... Use? No, gray science is my issue. Okay, let's go back over to gray science. We're, no, we're not getting that much gray science in. Uh, the walls are fine. The issue is... Ammo. Oh, that's... How long has that been broken? Basically forever. I didn't put down... I was only making one machine worth of ammo. That'll make a huge difference, everyone. Make sure that you put all your inserters down. Okay, so that makes the world of difference, and now we should hopefully be getting a bit more gray science, and that'll make these things move a little faster. So maybe we can do something without gray science then, since that's an issue. Ooh, we can do spider try now. It takes gray science, 2,500 of it, so let's not do that just yet. Uh, we could do some mining productivity. That would be good. We could also do ro worker robot speed. Yeah, let's do worker robot speed. Using purple and yellow instead of using gray. So we can let the gray kind of build up a little bit. Uh, and, and hopefully get some of the, uh, ammo. Uh, we could also f potentially fix this. No, because it'll pull it from here. And I don't necessarily want to do that. Uh, I, like I said before, I do want to do some recycling. But let's continue to look and see... What else might be an issue here? The thing with gray science is, once you get to the infinite stuff, which is this stuff down here, depending on what you're planning on researching, um, we have energy weapons damage, we have artillery stuff, um, and there's a few more, like I think there's a bot one, and there's maybe another energy weapon one. Maybe energy weapon firing speed or something. I can't remember what all there is, but you don't see them until you get their... The regular research is done. Well, here. Here's the bot one. So the infinite ones, 
unless we do these military ones, which we probably will, to be honest, um, we then we can't really use these. So that's um, potentially a problem. Uh, let's see. Is yeah, blue circuits looks like it's going actually very well. Um, Purple science, everything is backed up and running like clockwork. No, red circuits is still the issue here. So red circuits are a bottleneck. So the next case would be to upgrade this whole thing to red belts. The issue is what I said before, though, is that gives us twice as many arrays that we can set up, but we're running into the copper here. The other option is to create another array of red circuits. Um, this array, even with red belts coming in, will only ever make a full yellow belt. And we're going to need a bit more than that. We're going to need a full red belt. So we could do another uh, red circuit array. It's actually not a bad idea. Um, so let's try doing that, actually. Let's take, we take this whole thing here. Shift click it. Take this out. Take that out. And that might be good. Those coming in is a good idea. Let's just make a whole nother array. That way we can have the uh, expansion that we need. The only issue is, is I should have left space over here to do it. Because it's going to make some of this stuff a little bit crazy. Going in opposite directions. But it's okay. Go ahead and just put it down over here someplace. Before I do though, I want to make a little bit more power bus. Oh, we're coming up against the wall, too. Shoot. I should have moved that wall out further. Okay, I can't... I can't do this. I can't expand the, um... The RoboPort Array anymore. I need to move that wall out. I'm watching out for that power pole there. I think that's the best place to go with it. When I can delete the pipes, too. We're not bringing any more pipes down here. There, 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 and there. And this whole belt can come out. How far do you reach? You don't reach far enough this way. But that's okay, we can close this gap a little bit. With the construction range, that's all we really need to do. To get the construction range going. So, this should automatically, almost automatically connect. Now it should automatically connect. And then we just need to bring this red circuit belt out, which is here. And so this is where the issue arises. I'm going to have, for a good chunk of the base, I'm going to have one red circuit belt going in one direction, and the other one going in the other direction. So if I need to balance these, I need to split off of both and then merge the splits. Uh, which, well, it's not a huge deal because I could do something like this. Or is it a huge deal? Uh, I could just do it like this, I suppose. Especially because most of the time we need to ride circuits, we actually only take a half a belt. I'm thinking. And until these are full, then it doesn't really matter. The issue is just balancing them. So for my next base, I need to be careful with that particular uh, issue and um, plan a little bit better and leave space for a second red circuit array. If I'm going to use that array at least. Okay, and then this can go... Can you reach all the way? Yes, you can. But that's an issue. Ah, I know I can fix this. I can do that. And then this can just go there. And then this one can go here. Is this also a um, half belt? Yeah. What I really should do here, I'm going to do this differently. Because it's going to be a problem if I don't do it differently. I should take this like that. Nope, one more. Like this. Move this down by one. Straighten that out. 
and put a splitter in here to balance those two belts instead. That's the better way to do this. Uh, it costs more here, but I think it's better in the long run in terms of uh, balanced usage and whatnot. Except for this one is an issue, but I could do this. Yeah, let's do this instead. Um, no, that's not going to work. Let's do that. Take this one off here. And go squiggly around there. Uh, this can go here. This can go... There and there. That comes out. Red underground goes here. Yellow splitter. And then yellow underground. And that can go there. And then this belt here can just go here, and then they can be merged together and balanced. And then the same thing will happen this way. This works. It's not great, but it works. Same thing will happen this way. But don't do what I did, folks. And then this can be merged here. And then a, the second belt can continue. It'll just need to be merged and shifted uh, onto the first belt or whatever, like this. I'll put priority to the left. And then I'll put priority to the left. Or to the right, sorry. Nope. And then those can continue on that far with the rest of the base. Okay, so we have green circuit issues. Because it's after blue circuits, and blue circuits eats green circuits for breakfast. Let's do work about cargo size. That'd be a good one to spend some purples on. I actually probably could have done this even better. Let's try a different configuration for these splitters. I won't change them all, I don't think. But if I instead do all this out, all this goes away. If I instead split here and split, nope, split here and split here, will that work? If this one goes in there, no, that won't work. I think they need to be back by one so that this one can do that. Yeah, that's what it's got to do. That one can do that. And then these can come in through here. And then this can be shifted back up, which means that this can be like that. So that's a different option uh, to take to, to, to take them out and to keep them in line like this. I think that's an okay plan. And once we get these expanded out, and I'm not going to expand them to the full length yet with the red, cert, red, red belts, rather. Because, did I do the one with the red belts? No, I didn't do any with the red belts. Um, because we don't really have that much green circuits yet. So I think now it's time to expand green circuits again. Assuming we can handle that capacity. Where are these guys all going? Looks like they're all working. Mostly, there's a few that aren't. You're never going to get a mining field completely perfect, even if you do use balancers. It just... It's too fiddly. Uh, looks like we can handle a little bit more capacity at least here. Let's try it. The more we can handle, the better. Still within plenty of range. So, I still haven't built these walls out here, by the way. I know I keep saying that I'm going to, and then I haven't. Uh, it's just been a little bit busy lately, but I think what I'm going to do is what I said earlier, and then I'm going to wall this off here, here, and here somewhere, and then that way I can expand the bus a little bit further. So I'll have to make changes in order to handle that, but it'll be okay. Alright, so you're building all that now. Um, why is this so sparse? wasn't earlier, but I guess we're using more now. We 
We need to consume everything we're bringing in here in order to make two full belts going out. So that's what the problem is here. This is going to be a large array once it's done. Uh, it's going to be yellow machines too, which we should probably actually do that research. What's going on with, speaking of research, what's going on with research? We should have plenty of gray now. Doesn't take long to build that up. Yeah, it's already built up. Uh, but purple is flagging because of red circuits. So hopefully now we'll actually be able to make a little bit more. No, it's not because of that. Why is purple broken? Still not getting... How did I get... Green... Oh no, I see what happened. Oh no. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Uh, here? Yeah. This was messed up. I need to do that. I got green circuits all along this belt on both sides, and that means no red circuits, which means problem. Let's just vacuum this up, and that'll kick them all back going again. And we'll get purple going. In the meantime, let's spend some more gray science on... Just do some more flammable stuff, I guess. Okay, here they come now. Okay. Gotta be careful with that kind of stuff. And yeah, Blue Circuits is just hoovering up all the reds we can give it. Because it's taking two full yellow belts, two and a half full yellow belts, and we're not bringing that much uh, red down here. Or green, or, or yeah, much of a red belt down there. Yet. Although we are almost up to two full red belts now, so that's good. Okay, so let's see what else we can do here. Did I get anything else that the mall can be handled? Yes, I did. What did I get? Oh, I got these. Yes. And what are we making these for? They must be made for something with the Spidertron or something again. Whatever this is here. I think that's Spidertron because of all the other stuff that's going into it. Uh, the other thing that I want to do... Actually, that's potentially something we could do one way or another. Yeah, let's do it. Let's set up uh, another array here of... Um, once again, the uh, the speed modules 1 and 2. Oh, sorry. I'm in the way. And then this can go... This can request speed modules 1 if there are any in the system. That's fine. And then this can output there and then there. Oh, there were some in the system. Well, maybe I want to request more, then. And then I want this to be a logistic link. I did that. Didn't. I I keep forgetting to hit enter the second time there. I think if you hit enter there, it should accept it. Like, you shouldn't have to do any enter twice. That might be a... Enable when it's less than 50. That way that's not working all the time. Oh, I did this backward. Oops. Copy, paste... And then you go in there. I have nine, so I don't need that many. Uh, I'll just enable this until we get to about 20 in the system. I'll use them later, so it's not that big of a deal. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Uh, disable that connection. Oops. Yes, please make those fast. Uh, let's put in some speed modules into there so that it gets done a little bit faster. And then that will, um, hopefully, help our situation out here. And let some of this other stuff get made. Did I burn through all of something already? Or is it just time again? They're all running, so it's just time. I need to, I need to expand the lab array again. Downward here, but... 
I really want to get rid of this freaking copper. How much do we have left? 7.2 million? We're not getting rid of that anytime soon. Maybe I should change it then. If I... This is going to suck a little bit. But if I took it all up... And turned it... Then I could run the belts further south. At least for a while and bring them back up. Yeah, let's do it. I, I hate doing this, but... Also, it needs to be done. Let's do this. And we'll take up all of the miners. And then I can come out here and I can get one of these arrays. I apparently need another radar out here. Uh, we can get one of these arrays, but I'm just going to get one. Because I want just the red belt one at this point, I think. Okay, now we can take out everything else. Because everything else is flushed out, including the radar, because I'll want to move it anyway. And the roboport, I'll probably end up moving, but for now it's okay. That's good. Oh, I missed a bit. Okay, this can be deleted now. And then let's do this, and we'll just run it uh, north to south. Let's see, these can go this far over. Excellent. And that far down. Excellent. Two, three, let's move over here so I can get a full line and make my copying easier. Oops. I messed that up. Two, three. That'll be easier to get three instead of just one set. That Robohort doesn't have any power. Go there, 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 and there. And there, and how about you? No? Okay. Uh, now we can trim, like always. Take this out, take that out. All of this goes away, up to there at least. We can come out. This roboport, we need to take the roboport out. I don't know what that power pole's doing either. I think it was just connecting the power in. Yeah, it probably was. Let's take a roboport here maybe instead then. And this way, this belt can come right into there, right next to that roboport. Perfect uh, alignment there. And then I'll put another roboport in over here, just so we have coverage of everything. The blue circuit array is going to have to suffer for positioning for a little while, but that's okay. I think all the other power poles are needed. Okay, and then this needs to come this way to... Three, four, five. Of course, I cannot draw straight lines to save my life. There we go. And then this just comes down to three belts. Uh, splitters. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three belts there. Is that going to be far enough down? Maybe. I'll put priority right. All of them. And then these can just go keep on trucking. the trees there. We need a roboport down here. And this all can come out. At least down to about there. 
Of course, we're going through a water pipe there. But that's okay. And I'll stop here just short of the train station. And go up. And then take some of this out. Look at that. And that should fix everything there. Now how does science look? We're pretty full on everything, actually. Uh, let's do automation three at this point, I think. We also could do this before too long. Uh, that way we can get the fancier uh, assemblers and uh, upgrade some of the things like uh, the red belts. Oh, no, red circuits is still the issue. We're just not getting enough red circuits to feed blues. Uh, something else is going on up here. That's why. Backwards. And we're getting actually quite a bit backed up here because they're splitting halves. This is all backed up. Not surprising because that's robots. Uh, so really it's this mess here at Blue Circuits. But I mean, if, if half of this, if this, this was a half a belt, if this is a full belt, I should say, and it's not, but if it was, then half of it would come down here, half of it would come down here, and then we'd end up with basically a full belt, and then that going into half, so we really only need a quarter of each of those belts, and I think we're getting there now, now that it's well saturated, although that may not last because that was that backup. Yeah, it's not going to last. But hopefully it will, uh, it will help some. So I think this is where we're going to leave it for today, just with some more base upgrades. Uh, we'll do another research. I'm going to wait on that one. Uh, I think we could do worker robot cargo size. Lab research speed. That's actually better at this point. Uh, do another research. I will try and go out and uh, set up the defenses against the biters, with probably the first priority being the ones out here because of needing to move this wall. Uh, and then... Um, working out, out here later. Uh, we do have that small biter camp right there that's going to attack every so often, potentially. But I think that's okay because I have defenses here. This is only bullet defenses. I did put laser defenses out here. Uh, I could have gone and changed those around, I suppose. But I think it's okay the way that it is. Uh, so thank you all for joining me. And we I will see you next time. Bye for now.